equations with variables on both sides, decimals and fractions. Okay, so what I can do is I can rewrite this as 5c plus 16.5 is equal to 13.5 plus 10c. Circle my letters and uh, box my numbers. So box my numbers and uh, circle my letters. So again, we're doing uh, B, C, D. B, C, and D. Box, circle, divide. Okay, now looking at the boxes, we know that 13.5 is smaller than 16.5. So we're going to go ahead and move that. When we move anything, we always put down the opposite signs. So I'm going to go negative 13.5. Only the boxes will get that. So now I'll get 5C. Now the 16.5 subtract the 13.5. So this is going to be a negative 3. Okay, I cross this out, and this leaves me with uh, 10C. So now I'll code the problem, circle my letters, box my numbers, circle my letters. So now I want to get this box by itself, so I have to move the 5C. So that's going to become a negative 5C. Only the boxes will get not the boxes but the circles will get the negative 5c. So now I cross this out I have a, a positive 3 because this should have been a positive 3 here and then right here we're going to take uh, 10 minus 5 so 10 minus 5 is 5C. So now I want to uh, box my numbers and then circle my letters. So now what's left to do is the D part, which is divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So I get 3 over 5. Cross that out. And that leaves me with C. So I end up with 3 fifths. So 3 fifths. So I'll type in a 3 then the fraction bar, and then 5. So let's go to the next one. Okay, the next one you have some uh, uh, fractions here. So you have uh, 9 over 4y minus a 12 is equal to 1 fourth y minus the 4. Now you have two denominators here and both denominators are 4. So what I can do is I can go to each term here and times them by 4. So take the top number and times them by 4. So I'll only multiply the top numbers. So if I multiply here, see that you got a bottom 4 and a top 4, you're allowed to now cross those out. So you just have 9y left. Now this 12 has got to be times by 4, so this will turn into a minus 48. Now this next one, this bottom 4 now, will cross out with that top 4, and this leaves you with 1y. Then you're going to write down your minus sign, and then you have 4 times 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. So again, what I noticed was that I have denominators of 4. So I can times all the top numbers by 4. So with the fraction, I can times, you know, bring the 4 up to the top where the numerator is. And then take the 12, the negative 12 times the 4. I have the 1 fourth with the 4 on top. And then I have, and then I have the minus 4 with the width being multiplied by 4. I can cross out the bottom 4 with the top 4. So it leaves it with 9y. I can take 12 times 4. That gives me 48. I can cross out my 4's, so 1y gives me with 1y, and then I can take negative 4 times 4 gives me a negative 16. 
So now what I want to do is go ahead and code the problem because I want to go ahead and use uh, BCD. So I want to circle my letter and I want to box my numbers. Letters, circle my letters and box my numbers. So now what I have is a uh, negative 48 and negative 16. And we want to figure out which one is smaller. So when you have double net, when you have both of them are negatives, a lot of people will think, oh, the negative 16 is smaller, but that's not true. Think about money. You know, whatever's worse is 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 the smallest. So, which is worse for you to owe $48 or $16? We should realize owing 48 is worse, so that is your lowest the number. So I'm going to write a plus 48 underneath that box. I'm going to come over here underneath this box here and put down the plus 48 because boxes are with the boxes there. Now what I want to do is bring down the 9y, cross this out, I'm going to bring down the 1y, so now what I want to do is I want to take uh, the negative 16 plus uh, the 8. So 8. So 8. So in that case there, that's going to give me a positive 32. And again, if you're still struggling with that, just use a calculator. Okay, so now I want to code the problem. So this is going to be uh, circle the 9y. We're going to circle the 1y. And we're going to box the 32. So now I want to get the box by itself. So I'm going to subtract off the 1y. And only the uh, circles will get the negative 1y. So on this side right here, negative 1, 9 minus 1 is 8y is equal to, cross this out, that's 32. Go ahead and divide both sides by 8. Cross that out so that becomes y. So 32 divided by 8 is 4. Now one thing I didn't do that I normally do is I normally check to make sure that I've reached the end. So you see that before I divide it, I have one circle equal to one box. So that means I can go ahead and move to the D here for the divide on the problem. But anyway, we got the answer to be 4. So let's check that. So let's move to the uh, next question. So right here, I have the following. I have the 12.6 uh, plus the 4m is equal to 9.6 plus the 8m. So right here, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and box my numbers. and then circle my letters. Box my numbers and circle my letters. Because again, I want to use the rule B, C, and D. Now, 9.6, everybody knows 9 is less than 12, so we want to say negative 9.6, and only the boxes will get the negative 9.6. So this is going to become 3 plus 4m cross this out, this leaves me with 8m. Now what I want to do is I want to uh, box my numbers and circle my letters. Okay, so now i got to move this circle out here because I want this box by itself. So that becomes a negative 4m. So this will cancel out, this leaves me with 3 and this is 4m. Now if I check this, there's my box and there's my circle. So now what I want to do is I want to divide both sides by 4 and this is m so 3 fourths is equal to m. So let's type the fraction so we go 3 we'll pr press the fraction key that's underneath the uh, question mark key. Okay so let's go Okay, so let's go. 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 Okay, so let's go to the next one. 
Okay, the next one, again, I got a uh, fraction here. So I'm going to say 2 minus 2s is equal to 3 fourths s. So 3 fourths s plus 13. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of that bottom 4. So I'm going to times all the top numbers by 4. When I do so, I get 8. 2 times 4 is 8 minus uh, a, a, a negative 2 times 4 is a negative 8s. And then these bottom 4s will cancel and that leaves me with 3s. Then I'm going to take 13 times 4. Well, 13 times 4 is 52. Remember the rule is B, C, D. So I want to box my numbers, circle my letters, box my numbers. Actually, not box them, uh, circle the letters. So this should have been a circle right here. So let me uh, adjust that. So this should have been uh, 3s. So let me make the s smaller so it doesn't look like 35. So that should be 3s. That's a circle. And then I want to box the uh, 52. So now everybody knows that 8 is smaller than 52. So we're going to say minus 8, but only the boxes get the negative 8. So I cross this out. I get a negative 8s is equal to three letter S and uh, let's see this becomes a positive 44 so now I want to code the problem so I want to circle my letters then I want to box my number okay so now we want the box by itself so we gotta get rid of the 3s so that's gonna become a negative 3s only the circles get the uh, negative 3s so this becomes a negative 11s. Cross that out. And that's 44. Now if I check this, this is my circle and this is my box. So now divide this by negative 11. So cross that out. So that leaves me with s. And this gives me a negative 4. So s should be a negative 4. 